Hi students, this is our second dictation for citizenship practice. Um, this is going to be a series of four videos. The first video is listed on the playlist on the YouTube channel as citizenship number one. This video is citizenship number two. This is specific practice with vocabulary that you need to be able to read and write during the citizenship exam. Remember that the citizenship exam has four separate parts. The first part of the exam is a small conversation that you have with the USCIS, USCIS officer. Um, the second part is a short reading practice where you are given a sentence to read you have to read it out loud. You are given three separate chances to correctly read one of the sentences. The third part of the test, and this video focus, is the dictation, which is the writing part of the test, where the USCIS officer will read to you a sentence, and you need to be able to write the sentence accurately. Does the spelling need to be 100% correct? No, but it needs to be close enough that the official understands what word you are writing. And then, of course, the fourth part of the citizenship test where most people spend their focus is the general knowledge quiz, the 100 questions quiz. In the information underneath of this video, I will link to the PDF of the vocabulary that you should be able to read and write for the citizenship exam. This practice will have seven sentences, most of them focusing on the vocabulary for the names of presidents. During dictation, you should have a paper, pencil, you should be writing as much as you can while I am speaking, and then review at the end. Just like with all of our dictations, I will read the sentences for you three times. If you don't catch it, skip. Then we will come to a second practice. I will read each sentence one more time, and then we will review. Number one. Washington is the father of our country. Washington is the father of our country. Washington is the father of our country. Two. The president lives in the White House. The president lives in the White House. The president lives in the White House. Three. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Washington was the first president. Four. Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. Adams was the second president. Five. Washington is on the dollar bill. Washington is on the dollar bill. 
Washington is on the dollar bill. Washington is on the dollar bill. Six. Congress makes laws. Congress makes laws. Congress makes laws. Seven. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. Let me read each sentence for you one more time. Check your punctuation. Check your spelling. And then we will review. Number one. Washington is the father of our country. Two. The president lives in the White House. Three. Washington was the first president. Four. Adams was the second president. Five. Washington is on the dollar bill. Six. Congress makes laws. Seven. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. Let's review the sentences. Again, check your spelling, but it doesn't need to be perfect. As long as your word is close enough, it will be accepted. Washington is the father of our country. The president lives in the White House. The president lives in the White House. Washington was the first president. Adams was the second president. Washington is on the dollar bill. Congress makes laws. Lincoln was president during the Civil War. How was this dictation for you? Let me know in the comments under the video. Remember that this is the second out of four citizenship dictation practices. And in the notes under this video, I am including a link to the document that has all of the vocabulary you should be able to read and write for the, for the citizenship test. Take care, students. Bye.